We are at Ali San National Forest in Taiwan and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. I slept for seven hours and woke up at 3.30 and now we're going to go see the sunrise. There's 243 tickets remaining. So hope this sunrise better be good because this is the earliest I've ever woken up. The round trip ticket is 300 NT, which is $10. From here, it's going to be a half hour ride on what looks like an old metro train. After like a five minute run, we got to the top and wow, what a view. So one moment there was no sun and the next moment it just came out and now it's so bright that you shouldn't even be looking at it. We're gonna head back and try to catch the 5.50 a.m. train. And if you don't make that, there's one at 6.10. One minute away from the lookout, there's this nice little museum. And I've never seen them display plants or branches like this. Look at all these stamps. We're gonna hike the trails in the Ali San forest and first we're going to the sister's pond. This is a really impressive tree because I don't know what happened. It looks like someone carved a hole, but then it's super skinny up there. This is the first point of interest, the sister pond. And I don't know if ponds are like rare in Taiwan, but this doesn't seem that impressive to me. I'm not, I don't even wanna take a picture with this. Let's go on the pond shore boardwalk, which is 186 meters. Hopefully it's not as disappointing. Okay, I guess coming on the boardwalk trail paid off because this might be the real sister pond. It looks better, especially with that hut. This is the pig-shaped old stump and it looks like that in the picture, but I think some more roots grew, so now it doesn't really look like a pig. This part is the plantation, so which means they planted more trees than what is natural. Along the trail, there's a lot of great wooden artwork. We're passing by a temple and it seems like it's under construction, which is a shame because that was like one of the main attractions here. It's impossible to go hungry in Taiwan because there's food at every corner, even in the middle of the forest, there's a whole bunch of stands. This is an elephant trunk tree, but it's all covered. This is the three generation trees. First generation, second generation, and the third is the skinniest. This is Xiangling Elementary School. It's the highest elementary school in Taiwan. Our elevation is 2200 meters. We're gonna check out the Ali San Museum. They have a lot of beware of monkey signs telling you what not to do, but we haven't seen any monkeys yet. This is the Xiangling sacred tree and it's only 600 years old because the sequoias in California are thousands of years old. So this is actually kind of young, I guess. So we meant to go to the giant tree trail, which has a suspension bridge, but we're cutting our train time close and also brother's miserable right now because he got bitten by too many mosquitoes and is having allergic reactions. So we're gonna take this trail to the sacred tree station and then from there we'll take the train back to our hotel. And that is Ali San National Forest in Taiwan. I had a great time. I've been up since 3.30 and it's now 11.15. To see most of the entire park, you really only need the morning 
and you, you should watch the sunrise. I think it was also a good idea to spend the night because we were able to see the sunset the night before. I guess my only complaint would be the mosquitoes because it completely ruined brother's time here and he's never gonna wanna come back. That's it, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.